Oh yeah. SQL injection is uh, one of the most common hacker techniques that you uh, get in touch with as a rookie when you're first starting out with hacking. And uh, therefore, there are also plenty of softwares around that will help you to perform SQL injection. And uh, probably the best software around today is called SQL Map. And today we're going to have a look at the basic syntax of SQL Map. So I'm going to show you how to set up a test page and how to get started with SQL Map to perform SQL injection. <laughs> This project is leveled at easy. Okay, so now we're in front of Backtrack uh, and I'm using Backtrack uh, 5, uh, release candidate 3 today. Uh, and it comes shipped with uh, SQL Map from the beginning, but you could also use SQL Map on another distro like Ubuntu. If you like instructions on how to install SQL Map on Ubuntu, you can go to our website at passwordoverride.com and search for SQL Map and you will uh, find instructions for that. However, now it's time to uh, perform the actual SQL injection. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna open Firefox and we're going to browse to the actual test page that we're going to use in this tutorial. And that's located at password oi. Override.se slash list.php And as you can see we've done a really really simple setup. We've done a MySQL database which has one table called news and in that table we store a news ID, title and content. And then we have two PHP files, one called list.php which lists all the news in the database and also links to another page called news.php uh, which fetches the actual content of the article. So this is a really simple setup and if you would like to use the same code that we do you can also go on to passwordoverride.com and download it. It's uh, in a zipped archive below this video. <laughs> so let's get going. Uh, as you can see here we have list.php and I have two articles in my uh, database. So if I click another article you can see I uh, get the content of the article down uh, beneath the title and you can also see that this uh, news.php file uses a get variable to fetch the content from the database. So this is the actual target, the file that contains the get uh, variable. So uh, open up your terminal and go on to pen tests, sorry, pen tests, database, SQL map and this is the base folder for the SQL map um, uh, software. So uh, now we're going to write the basic syntax you need to get going with SQL map. It's python SQL map.py tag u for URL and now we just copy paste the URL we want to attack copy paste and then we have to tell uh, SQL Map what to do with the URL. And we would like to know all the databases behind this URL. So just type in DBS. And this is all we need to get going, so just press enter. And as you can see, it's already done. In about 4-5 or five seconds, uh, SQL Map has detected that uh, there was a vulnerability in the website and it has also listed all the databases behind uh, the actual PHP script. So, the next step would be to uh, get to know what tables are included in uh, one of the databases. And that is done by using the same command and change, changing uh, the actual command a bit on the end. So, instead of uh, tac tac dbs, we type tac capital D and then the name of the database we want to know the tables on. In this case it's psvo underscore test and then tac tac tables, press enter. And as you can see in about five 
seconds or something like that. Uh, SQL map has also find out which tables are inside this actual database. And as you can see, we have only one table called news. And the next appropriate step would be to know what columns are inside news. So let's modify the command a bit more. And do, oh, sorry. Uh, tag D, PSVO, test, tag T for table, which is news, and then tag tag columns, and press enter. And there we have it, we have uh, three columns, as I mentioned before, ID, title and content, uh, and uh, all of this is supposed to be behind a login, a username and password, but by using SQL injection we have um, successfully listed all the tables, all the columns, all the database on this server. And if you would like to dump uh, the content of this database, you could also do that by just typing tag tag dump. And there you have it. This is the entire content of the news table in the PSVO underscore test database. So this is a brief introduction to SQL map and this is uh, a basic basic example of the syntax you could use with SQL map to uh, fetch data from uh, database servers without having a username and password for them. Okay guys, this was a brief tutorial on uh, SQL map with uh, some coverage on the basic syntax you need to get going with the, this awesome software. If you'd like uh, more tutorials on SQL map, maybe more advanced tips and stuff like that, go on to passwordoverride.com and don't forget to follow us on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook and all stuff like that. And don't forget, all the test files we use in this tutorial is available on our website at passwordoverride.com. Bye bye guys!